I'm coming out to Pakenham today to see my mate Nathan. He's really into camping, but he always whinges about the food he's got to eat. I've waited till his mum's nicked down the shop so I don't have to worry about making a mess in the kitchen. So come join me in his kitchen. So lid goes on, and voila, beautiful beef burger fit for a king. So come and join me in the kitchen. I'm here with Nathan now, who's a real camping enthusiast. And uh, while your mum's nicked down the shops, I thought we'd make something nice and messy. What do you normally take away when you go camping? Well, I do cadet, so it's normally dehydrated foods. So. Oh, really? A whole lot? Yes, everything, oh. pretty much. No, nah, this is going to be a bit tastier than that, I think. We're going to make chocolate brownies. Awesome. Sounds good? Yes. All right, to make these, we're going to need four eggs, splash of vanilla, some salt, three quarters of a cup of cocoa, cup and a half of caster sugar, third of a cup of self-raising flour, 250 grams of butter, 120 grams of dark chocolate, and 100 grams of white chocolate. So to begin with, we need to get this melted. So chuck that in the microwave for a couple of minutes, in your secret hidey microwave. Right here. You just need to keep a bit of an eye on it though, because every microwave is different. So and if you don't have a microwave, you can just do it in a pot, or your camp stove if you're out in the bush. No, you can't do these out in the bush. Didn't think so. so, while that's happening, we'll get you just to chop this chocolate up. This is just going to go in nice and chunky. Okay, we'll do so that So both one. together, both together. Oh, both together, okay. Yeah. These are a quick snack, these ones. Everything together quickly. So, just chop this up. You can do it bit by bit if you want, or just run your knife through, like this. Just and like half cuts? Yeah, it doesn't really matter, just different chunks because they won't really melt through the brownie, they'll be nice and crispy, a little bit like nuts through it. And while you're doing that, I'll move on with the dry ingredients. So in goes our sugar, you're struggling a bit there. <laughs> just be careful with that, I don't want you to lose a finger. So, just stop for a sec, okay. we'll give you a bit of a master class on it. When you've got this here, you want to hold the knife further down so you've got more control over it. Yep. Hold it nice and firm and then just slide the knife through like that. Instead of putting it down and going forward, if you just do it in one movement, forward and down at the same time, then you'll do really well. See that, straight through? Yep. And keep your fingers out of, out of harm's out way, way if you okay, can. Cool. Like that? Can't afford yep. a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hold it nice and firm though. Hold the knife nice and firm. Keep your fingers away for your first one, I reckon. <laughs> good idea. Oh, I reckon that's good enough if you don't right lose yeah. a finger. So in goes our cocoa. You're watching this as well? Okay. So we've got our sugar and our cocoa, and we've got our self-raising flour in now as well. So now I'm just gonna mix this through like this and just make sure it's well combined. That's good. Just so we don't get little chunks of cocoa or anything like that. You just get a nice, consistent one. And into there I'll add about half a teaspoon of salt. So why do you put salt in it? Well, it sort of helps bring out the flavour in the chocolate, but apart from that, it acts as a preservative. So because you're taking these away camping, you don't want them going mouldy or anything, and that stops yeah. the bacteria from growing in it. That's good. Makes it inhabitable for it. Yeah, then I'll give that to my friends if it didn't work. Is that an impressive word or what? Inhabitable. Yeah. It's huge. Can you spell it? <laughs> nah, we won't go that far. Oh dear. So, we're going to be a wriggle on with this chocolate. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I can move on to my next step as well actually. So I'm just going to add my vanilla now. Yep. Half a teaspoon. And my eggs. Make sure there's no shell in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll let me know if there is. So what sort of things do you cook when you're out camping? You've got your dehydrated stuff for yeah, snacks um, and that, but... Uh, normally um, just two minute noodles, mainly. Yeah. That's the most, the only thing we cook, but um, with dehydrated food we get um, like certain ration packs which have different types of dinners and lunches in because okay. they give our ration packs at the um, start of the uh, day and then um, we just take what we need from watch that your, Watch day. your chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea. So it's all organised for you then? Yeah, um, we get like 
everything pretty much. But um, some dis dinners are just dreadful. Yeah. And you just gotta chuck them out. So you always save a um some noodles for dinner just in case they suck. Sounds like war or something. Yeah. Oh, sometimes <laughs> it is. So you're pretty excited to have some tasty snacks to take away then. Yeah, that'd be good. Another really good thing about this recipe is that there's no nuts in it. So we're getting our crunch from our chocolate, which means there's no nuts needed, and uh, it means it's safe for everyone. That's good. You know anyone with nut allergies? Yeah, a few. Yeah, it's pretty serious stuff, isn't yeah. it? Well, you've been so busy with the chocolate, forgotten about the butter. Let's hope it's all right. <laughs> hope we haven't messed up your mum's microwave. She won't be happy. <laughs> nah, it's good from there. Nah, it's still good. All right, now that looks good. You don't have to worry about it splitting like that. That's just the two parts of the butter coming apart from each other, but we want both of them anyway. So now we get our butter in there as well. Not the healthiest, is it really? No. The more ingredients I add, the more I sort of think this probably isn't the, the best camping snack <laughs> health-wise, but flavour-wise it will be. I'll leave you to mix this all together though. Make sure you mix it in Can I put the chocolate really well. in? No, no, not yet. Chocolate goes in at the end. So mix it all through really well, making sure uh, there's no, no big lumps or anything in there. And while you're doing that, I'll move on to our baking dish. This is a very important part of it, this one, because if it sticks, we're in a bit of trouble. Can't so. get it out. Have you ever done this before? Um, oh, here and there. Uh, this is my little trick. I think it's, I think it's everyone's little trick, but... So what I'm going to do now is just run the pen around the bottom as a bit of a guide. Now you don't have to worry about the ink because we're going to cut that off anyway. That's good. So, can you see that there on there? Yep. Now we grab our scissors, a bit of art and craft in this as well. And we just want to go on the inside of the line because that's obviously on the outside of it, so it's a so little it's bit a little too bit bigger, big. Yeah. Yep. And we don't really want the pen ink cooking with our dish either, so win-win. Yeah. How are you going with that there? Yeah, it's Yeah, it's good. looking good. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a little taste of it, see how we're going so far? Right here. It's cooked. It's good? Cool. So you told us about all the bad food when you're camping, but what's some of the good meals you've had out in um, the wilderness? Oh, well, you get like condensed milk in a tube every time and some and Smarties. Just, and Just go to condensed milk straight. <laughs> yeah, do they just go, because you've got to keep your um, sugar level up and all that. Well, that, that would <laughs> certainly <laughs> do that? it. That's a, well, yeah. <laughs> and where's the best place you've ever been camping? Um, Pakapanyal Army Base. That was our annual camp last year. Yeah, with cadets. Yep. So what's the best thing you've ever done when you've been out camping? Um, oh, I did abseiling once. That was um, good fun. Yeah, what was good fun about that? Oh, well, I'm scared of heights, so it was um, and more like right up the top of the cliff, but then it only went down 50 metres or so. So I was hoping it wasn't going down to the bottom. It's always that first step over the yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, that was hard. I didn't like that. That was tough. I've done abseiling once before. The only reason I went over was because there was a, a cameraman from the local paper there. <laughs> Otherwise, there's no way I would have gone over. I reckon you've probably mixed that enough now. Right, yeah. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I've cut out my little base plate or whatever we'll call that. Looks good. And I'm greasing around the sides here. I'm also going to grease on the bottom. So it's just a bit of soft butter in here. Okay. That's one of my off cuts. No wastage. So now that that's nicely greased, we just put that in the bottom. Make sure it's uh, shiny side up though. Okay. And in that goes. So, to get this in the oven, what we need to do, chocolate in here. I'll give you a hand as well. Okay. Give that one more good mix. Looks even better. Yeah, it's getting better by, by the ingredient, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But once again, probably not for the health conscious people. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we chuck that into here. Oh. Making sure you scrape every last bit out. Yeah, just pour. I'll scrape if you want. Okay, I'll let you can I'll pour. Awesome. Can't wait till I eat this. Looks delicious. My bag's a All spoon right. though. Ah, shotgun bowl. Oh. You can have the small bit. Oh, cheers. So, you reckon this is going to be pretty tasty? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. It's got a lot of sugar. 
I reckon you'll have to watch your uh, rucksack though, definitely. Yeah. So, you can see that there. It's filled it up halfway because it's going to rise, rise in the oven. Yep. So we'll chuck that into the oven now, 175 degrees for around 45 minutes. In we go. All right, so they're in the oven, but we can't just send Nathan off with a bag full of brownies. We're going to need something a bit more substantial. So stick around, because after the break, we're going to do a really hearty Irish stew. You can whip it out at the fire when uh, everyone else is gnawing on their dried fruit. Oh, I took your spoon. Yes, oh, you got to have on, the mate. bowl. Come on, mate. You can have the bowl. I bags the spoon.